Hello guys, welcome back to another video in this React series. Are you looking to add icons to your React.js application? Then this is a video for you. In this video, we will learn to easily incorporate React icons into your React projects. As you can see in this example here, I have added lot of icons using React icons. React Icons is a popular library for adding icons to your React applications. It provides a convenient way to include icons in your React components without the need for manually importing and managing icons files or using external icon fonts. Let's see how we can add these React icons in our React application. Let's open the code editor first. Here I have a dedicated functional component for this example. To get started to add React icons, First step is you need to install React icons and the specific icon set you want to use. The first step is you need to install the React icons. For that open command terminal and then write npm install react icons save. Then press enter. This will install the necessary packages in your React application. The next step is go to React icons website that is react iconsgithubio here lot of icons are available and those are categorized based on different usage. Here you can see different icons are categorized into different categories. You can choose any icons from here. To add any icon from these categories you can select the category and there you will get the import statement which you need to add in your functional component. So that will be the first step then you need to copy the icon which you want to add in your application. So for this instance, I want to add flat color icons in this application for that one. Here you can see there is a copy to clipboard option is there. Click on that one, you will get the import statement copied. Go to your code editor. Here at the top, add this import statement. Then from this icon set, choose an icon which you want to add in your React application. As soon as you click on that icon, that icon name will be copied to your clipboard. Go back to code editor. And here within open and close bracket paste that whichever is copied now. Once you copied the name of the icon, update the import statement where you have defined as icon name. Replace that one with the actual icon name which you want to import it from this set. Then save it and go back to browser to preview this application. Now you can see that icon is being displayed in our React application. You can customize the icon's appearance by using inline style, CSS classes or bypassing props depending on the specific icon library's capabilities. For example, in this example, I want to change the size of this one. For that one, I can add a property by name size and I can mention the size of this icon. Let's save this one. Now you can see icon is bigger than earlier. Similarly, you can change the color of the icons as well. As currently we have added flat color icons here, we cannot change the colors of these as these comes with predefined colors. So let me go to react icons library and choose another category. For this example, let me take one bootstrap icon. Let me quickly add one icon from here. I have added an alarm icon from this bootstrap icon set. If you preview this one in browser, you can see the icon is with gray color. Let me change the color of this one. To change the color, you can use the property by name color. Then mention the color which you want to define it here. Let me change the size of this one as well. Save this one and go back to browser again to preview this application. Now you can see color of that icon is changed. Similarly, you can add any number of icons from these React icons icon set. In summary, React icons simplify the process of adding icons to your React applications by providing a convenient way to import and use any icons from these sets. You can find a variety of icon sets that are compatible with your React applications here. When you choose an icon set, make sure to check the licensing term so that you can use the icons in your project. If you click on that license icon, you will get the licensing terms to use these icons. You need to follow those licensing terms. So that's it guys for this video. Thanks for watching this. If you have any questions or, or want to see more tutorials like this, please let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more coding tutorials.